If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Can you tell me more about relocating your sister? My father is after my sister. I've kept her hidden for years, but his agents have tracked her to Ilium. I need to help her. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. The Commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Shepard? Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. You better have a good reason for ruining my lunch. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Is this Krogan insight? Realizing you hate someone enough to justify torture? It's not torture. He's dead. But sure, it's wrong. The crime against us was bad, so the message had to be equal or worse. It's not Okir's hate, and it's not who they are. It's what they did, and how bad the answer had to be. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Gabby, you'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. The Normandy's the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. A lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See? Look where your mind went. I've got to watch out for myself.
Shepard, what can I do for you? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Shepard, what can I do for you? How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Hastrum, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. You loved the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. 
You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard.